If you were a race car driver in South Africa, how would you spend all the money that you won? Would you spend it on, you know, like diamonds? Would you spend it on a cool house? Or would you spend it building a wheel brand? Today, we're gonna be talking about TSW. So in 1967, Eddie Kaizen, sports car racer in South Africa, decided to give his run a go on making wheels for really no apparent reason. He had a bunch of different business ventures in the late 60s, but he decided he wanted to found and start Tiger Sport Wheels. That name is absolutely terrible. I'm sorry, but Tiger Sport Wheels is like an atrocious name. But TSW sounds a little bit better, and TSW was actually founded with the impression of making wheels for the racing enthusiast but they never really had a specific angle. Their angle was to just make wheels. They started out in South Africa. They really didn't go public until the late 1980s, where they ended up going into the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and then exploding. So while Eddie Kaizen was trying to make alloy wheels, he was also part of the racing in South Africa. He actually participated in three F1 style championships and won zero but he's probably still a better driver than me. He apparently has more money than me because TSW was founded and I'm still over here getting stared at by a mechanic. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it. TSW purchased a company called ATS in Germany that helped them acquire more smaller companies throughout the world, including companies in Poland, Germany, and of course, the United States of America. So while TSW continued to grow organically, they actually split off in 2001 in between their OE production line and their aftermarket alloy wheel game. It was essentially split into Tiger Wheels and ATS depending on if it was in the domestic market or in the European market. The European market for OE applications was bought out by Yokohama Tire. The aftermarket wheels of TSW were sold to Terence Schechter, who was a previous business partner for TSW. So they've still managed to maintain both an OE application system and an aftermarket wheel game. And this is where it gets a little bit crazy. TSW has dominated the domestic wheel manufacturing community. Between then and now, they've launched almost 10 wheel brands. But they're known for taking these companies and shutting them down completely. They won't continue their development unless they know it's something that they can work with or if it's not going to be potential competition for a company that they've already bought in the past. TSW made headway in the US using the acquisition of Good Roads Auto Systems. Now, who are they? They're a company in Florida that was bought out by TSW or acquired, but pretty much TSW owns them, so you pretty much, whatever. TSW has a bunch of new brands that they can continue. Most notably, they're ending them. Things like Status, XO, Rough Racing are just to name a few where it's unlikely that TSW is going to continue that brand. Why is that? Well, because TSW doesn't need another company that hits the same market as something else that they already have. TSW has almost 10 or 11 brands that they manage and hold where they have a very high expectation of what they expect their wheel name to become, and some of them just don't make the cut. Rough Racing, sorry bro. So is that backed by factual science? Eh, not really, but if the fact that you don't see their acquisition paperwork showing that they're owning Rough Racing, it's a toss up or it's at least a sign that it's unlikely that they're gonna carry brands like Tough and EXO into the future. TSW's expansion is aggressive to say the least. They have at least three distribution centers in California. They're getting their fourth through the Good Roads uh, acquisition in Florida, and they even plan on opening up one in Chicago, which will help solidify their market throughout the entire United States of America into 24 hour shipping is their ultimate goal. But that has upset current suppliers to say the least. There also has been rumor that TSW is increasing their pricing on almost all of their wheels to help push out outside warehousing companies and just going centralized to things like Discount Tire Direct to help with their overall shipping, help with their quality, help with centralizing all of their wheels. And it's made more people upset. <laughs> they're just not in a good light right now from the back end side of things just because of what they're doing to their current and past partners. But hey, if you're Discount Tire Direct, you're in a perfect spot. So TSW is not afraid of making jumps when it comes to the aftermarket wheel game, but how are they staying on top? Well, yeah, they make monoblock and rotary forged wheels. Rotary forging is very simple. It's when they take the center disc is still cast, but the rim itself is rotary forged. They spin it super, 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 super fast, and then they heat it up and they put these little rollers on and it goes 
and then it straightens out the grain structure, helps minimize weight rotational mass, and it just makes them easier to go wide around without increasing the weight. TSW has like a lot of wheels, like a lot. If you go out there to look at TSW's wheel line, it's insane. They're pretty much the name when it comes to staggered setups because they can only make rotary forged and monoblock wheels. They don't dive into multi-piece or two-piece wheels to give them that offset creativity. It's time for a drinking game. Every single name that I get right in the TSW lineup, I don't have to take a drink. Every single time that I get it wrong, I have to take a drink. The Amaru, the Ascent, the Bardo, the Barthurst, Bristol, Brooklyn's, Cadwell, Casino, Mallory. Honestly, TSW, bro, slow down. I can't keep up with this sort of stuff. TSW Oslo, 83 different options when it comes to sizing and offset. That's how many options you have with a TSW wheel. And that's almost with every single one of their wheels. They do an amazing job in making sure that they have as much in terms of variety as possible with the wheels that they make. So is TSW a bad brand? No, they're not. They make original wheels. They have some intricate designs. They're pretty cool. They're a little bit expensive in my eyes, but that's personal opinion. But a lot of TSW's problems, a lot of the reason that they get a lot of crap is because of the back end. It's the fact that they're pretty much a discount tire direct company only. They don't like dealing with online wholesalers. They don't like dealing with online companies. They don't like dealing with anything that would require them a ton of work. They like buying out companies. They like buying out and acquiring as much as possible, deciding what they want to keep and throwing away the rest. So besides being a bully on the block, TSW, pretty good brand. Wish that they would keep some of my old school childhood designs alive from rough racing and stuff like that, but we can't all win. So that is our wheel history this week. The winner of last week in terms of what we gave away, remember guys, it's in, you get put into a drawing, in, into a drawing. You don't just win stuff. That'd be like $1,000 of gear if we just gave away to everybody that commented. That's not how it works, that's not how it works. You were entered in to win. So the winner is right here. So congratulations, you're gonna wanna shoot us an email at wheels, no, email our videographer for the giveaway information because apparently he wants to know, and that is Mario at fitmentindustries.com, but the winner is right here. So that is everything that we have in TSW. Let us know in the comments what you would like to see next. If you have questions, concerns, wheel history, knowledge, anything like that, we like to see it. We comment on every single video. If you're looking to pick up a set of TSWs, check out our website, www.fitmentindustries.com. Add your car to our gallery. If you have TSWs, we have a few. We love our gallery, 5,000 cars plus. Hello. But I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. We'll see you later. Peace.